And on the hoggas, when you have your front broom brushes that, that are not spinning, when you have the switch on, you just get a, a buzzing, grinding noise and a, no, no turn on your brush. This is how you have to diagnose it. Uh, first, pull your oblique wheel out and pull the oblique wheel out. Just give it a tug and it'll pop right out. Right, then you have to take your broom brush out and you want to grab a hold of it. And don't give me one of those little uh, namby pamby, I don't want to break a nail tug. You grab a hold of that some bitch and you get rowdy with it. Just, there you go. All right, now, <clears throat> usually when the when the broom brushes are not turning, you strip this gear right here. What you want to do is check to see this this gear. Your, your teeth should be straight all the way across. A little bit of taper, but they shouldn't be concave. Now, if they're concave, then your your worm gear has chewed through. So you want to inspect your worm gear. Your worm gear should be straight with flat tops all the way across. All the spirals should have flat tops on them. Now, if they're not, if they're rounded over, if they round it to a point, you'll have to replace your, your broom brush, your uh, worm gear, and you'll have to replace your uh, tooth wheel. Now, to replace the tooth wheel, if you look on the inside, you'll see uh, the locking mechanism. There's six tabs that lock this in place and it locks either left or right just depending this one here is locked turned to the right so you want to unlock it to the left and the, the way to get this off put it on a flat surface you want to push down with the palm of your hand and you'll feel the ring rotate and unlock then you can remove the locking ring the tooth sleeve and inspect your clutch this is the clutch okay now to replace your tooth wheel just drop your new one in put your locking ring back on push down and like I said either turn left or right and you'll feel it turn and lock into position it'll, it'll turn about a quarter of an inch and then lock now to put your broom brush back in inspect your clutch element on the inside if you're replacing the clutch element, if you look at the, the sweep in the, in, the, in the bristles, how they're swept to this, this side, the flaps on your bristles will match the sweep on your, on your bristles on your broom. So just, if they're pointed this way, your, your clutch element will be pointing the same direction. Now, snap your two sleeve and clutch holder back into position. Drop the brush back into the machine. And just rotate it until all the bristles are under the sweeping lip. <clears throat> Snap the tooth, tooth wheel, uh, tooth sleeve back into position, and then put your oblique wheel. It's better if you do this one side at a time because these parts are matched left and right. So to snap your your oblique wheel back in, center it, drop it in, give it a snap. You'll hear a snap. Give it a tug, it shouldn't pull out. 